What are the most common question asked about avascular necrosis? Risk factors is an important question. So, what are the most common sites for avascular necrosis of the femur, doctor? I mean, avascular necrosis overall, head of the femur. Idiopathic is the commonest underlying cause for the uh, avascular necrosis. Alcoholism, steroid therapy, sickle cell disease and those patients who are on renal dialysis, they are at the risk of developing avascular necrosis. And uh, patients who are on anti-cancer drugs and postpartum necrosis, gorgeous disease, there are the other important causes which are responsible for the development of a vascular necrosis. Usually, a vascular necrosis is uh, bilateral, both the sides. Are you able to see that increased osteosclerosis is there? No, that is the vascular necrosis. Then, patient will say there is a pain in the groin, which is a very very important feature and uh, if you look at the pain the pain is present at all times and whenever the patient tries to walk the pain becomes more that's a classical feature in the early stages excess will be normal but if you are suspecting in any given patient so the risk factors don't forget that there sickle cell anemia idiopathic steroid therapy they are routinely repeatedly asked mcqs in the exam now, in the late stage, there can be an osteolysis which can develop in the superior lateral part of the head. Superior lateral part of the head is another important uh, finding in case of the avascular necrosis. So, this is a typical flattened top of the femoral head. The superior lateral location is the classical location. This is another example of a pelvic radiograph where you can be able to see an increase of sclerosis involving the superior lateral aspect is another place where avascular necrosis can be found. This is another example on the CD scan where you are able to see that increased uh, sclerotic lesion in case of avascular necrosis. Uh, uh, MRI always is very sensitive to detect the presence of, see this bone is suffering, this is the normal bone, this bone is suffering from avascular necrosis. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what happens when there is an avascular necrosis over a long period of time? The femoral head will undergo a collapse and there is an osteoarthritis which will develop and that may require hip replacement at one point of time. Commonly who suffers a vessel necrosis for SLE, so many things we give, steroids. Prolonged steroid intake is the one which predisposes to the development of a vessel necrosis. So if I ask you an MCQ, most common modality for development of a vessel necrosis, what is your answer? MRI is what you need to remember. So how do you treat doctor? You do, you do the core decompression, core decompression and do fibular grafting of that necrotic bone is considered to be the management of choice. And in the late stages, when the head become deformed, then you need to do a muscle pedicle bone graft in order to uh, replace the necrotic bone. That's what you need to do. Uh, which will give good results. Then interprochantric, greater and lesser trochanter, then no? interprochantric osteotomy is a procedure, especially when major part of the head get involved. Uh, then uh, if there is an advanced osteonecrosis due to vascular necrosis, replacement of the joint is considered to be the management. This is an example of bilateral vascular necrosis with a joint replacement is uh, all the story about the avascular necrosis. You thought every topic will be as long as bone tumors? No, it won't be. Huh? Only bone tumors are the longest topic uh, which we have survived, luckily. Huh. Chalo, let me check a uh, uh, few questions. What are the most common cause of avascular necrosis? Excellent. Oh, sorry, already idiopathic commonest is given. Huh? Right, sorry. Best modality for diagnosis? MRI. MRI. Most common site? Head of the femur. Now, what is wrong about avascular necrosis? A. Because it is often 
bilateral that is the story which you need to basically remember